Hey guys, this is Jay, and I'm just recording to show you a little patch that I mowed down out here. Uh, I've talked talked to one of the local lumber yards about dumping some wood chips out here, so I'm ho hoping within the next few days they'll be dumping wood chips in the air. I'm gonna see how much a dump truck load covers out here, and then go from there. I talked about possibly getting m multiple loads out here. I'm also on the waiting list with some of the some of the different arbor companies out here that do tree trimming and I'm also on the waiting list with some of the, the power companies out here for dumping wood chips so and I got heard back from the power company and they said that they won't be out in this area for about a year but they said if they do any work out here that they'll bring out a load and dump it and so at least I get started out here I got to still talk to some places to try to see if I can get some like food pick up food scraps and that stuff and dump it out here for composting and everything I want and I'm hoping by this spring to be able to plant a bunch of fruit trees if I get if the ground gets rich enough I'm probably going to be planting asparagus and a few other root plants in there and I got a small patch of asparagus that grows out of here. It's already had gone to seed. And, and I've already cut it off and everything, but this the ground that it's on right now is is not very rich. And it keeps on getting thinner and thinner each year. So I figured I need to do something so I was gonna start with that I've been watching a lot of videos about Paul Gachi and then I've been studying up on a lot of the stuff that, that mm, Justin Rhodes has been doing out in permaculture so I'm hoping to get the rest of the ground as rich as the stuff is underneath this this patch of hay right here. This is the, about the richest soil out here. And you can feel how soft it is by stepping on it because it, it's been composting for a while. I think it's... He cut our neighbor cut hay out here twice so far this year. And this is... He's just going to leave it. Uh, but this has been out since like the first cutting and it's been rotting and composting under here and it's about the softest ground we got is underneath that and I'm hoping to get that whole area worked on and if I can keep on going I want to go all the way back on this hill here and try to get get a decent size like fruit orchard going and uh, and a garden underneath it. We'll see how far I can get. Nope. And hoping by this time next year, I'll have a bunch of chickens out here. And and depending on how how f well things work out, maybe some sheep and some pigs. But this isn't very rich ground that I have right now. And I love to get it where it's nice rich in black rather than light brown because it's not it's not super rich soil anyway around here And who'd figure, out of all the soil I dig up, I end up digging up into a hole where a dung beetle had left some poop. <laughs> but at least I got some of them around here and they, what they don't eat does help the soil some, but we really, this soil needs some work on it. It's, it's hard. For the most part, and the only spots that are really soft out here is where the moles, moles and gophers have dug, and we've been having 
fewer and fewer problems with the moles out here anyway because the, our cats have been been massacring them out here so it's one benefit of having a bunch of cats out here they take care we haven't had any problems with mice rats moles hardly at all now out out quite a ways from the house we get in some mole mole borrowings but not as much as it was before but our cat population keeps on booming and our guineas are doing really well but really want to get this expanded a little more it's about the only thing we really got got going in high abundance out here is the our guineas the cats and deer so and a little while ago I'd been putzing with the camera on my phone and end up recording a little spot with deer and then I just didn't care for the video that much so I ended up deleting it <laughs> but we keep on working on it out here hopefully in a couple of years all the ground will be rich Hopefully in a couple of years we won't have be having this cut down for hay. We'll be having a garden and orchard and all kinds of fruit trees and some pigs and some sheep out here and I don't know. I don't, based on the acreage we have right now, I highly doubt we'll get cows, but you never know what will end up happening out here. We might end up getting one or two, but. We're starting to work on it. And let's see what we can go from from here. Oh well, this is Jay signing out. Later, later.